Welcome to News Making Headlines on December 8th. If you are someone who jumps on a motorcycle taxi regularly, you might welcome the news that the opposite government plans to regulate the service. The government hopes to not only win the hearts of some 300,000 motorcycle taxi drivers across the country, but also help thousands of passengers who many of them risk their lives riding pillion while the bikes weave through heavy traffic. Pujit Khan's click section front cover highlights the news with the headline Win-win policy woos motorcycle taxi drivers, gov to regulate service, clean up unlawful power. Without any regulations, whoever wants to earn income as a motorcycle taxi driver has to cough up to 100,000 baht to give to mafias for the right to have a motorcycle taxi jacket. Now, under the policy called win-win, they may have to pay less than 500 baht for insurance each year and register their name with a state agency. PM's Office Minister Sa Thit Wong Nong Tui says the project will officially kick off on December 17th. Thai Post headlined on the same story reads, Mark or opposite moves grassroots, promising motorcycle taxi drivers income will increase as New Year gift. The story says that by not having to pay commission, these drivers will be able to earn at least an additional 5,000 baht a month. Meanwhile, police have kicked off their online ticketing process in Patum Thani and nine Bangkok police stations. Thai Post Excite headline says, People confused with online ticket system. Evaluation underway. Online ticket system starts. Most tickets issued for parking offenses. Some police officers say the online ticket system makes it more easy and convenient for them to issue tickets to traffic offenders since there is no more paperwork. Besides, with the computerized system, they know immediately if the traffic offender had earlier committed an offense. Reportedly, most people who were issued online tickets knew nothing about the scheme so a public relations campaign is underway to create awareness of the project. Now, if you are secretly contemplating using the aphrodisiac co-witch in the hope that it will restore your libido, better listen to this. Thai Post Excite cover says, warning again using co-witch or mamui as aphrodisiac. A Mahidon University pharmaceutical expert warns that some species of co-witch especially those found in China and India, can create serious side effects. People should not jump to drink water mixed with just any grilled covid seeds as they have to be sure that they are the correct local species. To increase sexual libido, not more than 5 grams of the grilled or boiled seeds should be consumed. Well, here we go again. Global warming and human irresponsibility is slowly killing off various species of animals, with the latest being the hawksbill turtle. Thai Post Excite covers the sad story with a headline stating, Hawksbill turtle almost extinct, conservation plan underway. The Natural Resources and Environment Ministry is seeking cooperation from all sectors to cordon off an area where these turtles lay eggs. Surveys have found that the number of hawksbill eggs in Thai waters has plunged from 100,000 per year to only 30,000. Now, this is certainly a season to celebrate with lots of wedding bells in the air. We wrap up this program with a Thairat picture featuring superstar singer actor Moss Patitpan Pathawikan with his long term girlfriend, Game, Oduong Pon Lukitinan. The super happy couple are set to tie the knot on March 30. That's it folks, have a nice day.